A, which we usually do, and C, and so on, and okay, it's like this. Uh, I take this name, it will just pass to all the innermost components, okay, providing the context and consuming the context, empty context. So, what should I do with this empty context? We exported it in component A dot consumer. So, now component E is a consumer equal to use contact okay and c and d to come in between i just want my becomes keep on the Hello, hello, hello. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Knowledge Keen and this is your friend Vaseem. Today we are going to see another interesting concept called as Context API. This is a new concept and another interesting one. This concept comes into picture when you want to learn more about state management. We have seen one state management that is use state that we are continuously doing from day 3rd, 4th or 5th. But since now, we are going to see it on a bigger level. So why do we need this whole concept uh, context API as a concept? We are going to see now. Okay, so let's take this example. I have created a simple example already for you because we don't want to go ahead and create all these XYZ components. These components are simple, but what exactly I have created, I'll let you know here. So we have component A, that's uh, the first component component b as a child component to a c as child to b d as child to c and e as child to d to understand and that's why i have like uh, made it smaller 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 so you can see that it's a nesting of components here if you see in app.js i have loaded my component a which we usually do in component a we have loaded component b in component b we have loaded component c and so on and so forth pretty simple and also just to remember we are passing a name property which we are right now we are not passing it's simple components the only name we are declaring it is in component a okay pretty simple so this basic example we are seeing it from a very long time now okay so today what we are going to see let's say that uh, let's pretend that we want what what we want is we want this wasim to be printed in component e directly we don't want component b to come into picture we don't want component c into picture we don't want component d come into picture we directly want from the parent component to the innermost um, child to print this value but till today whatever we have learned can we do that yes we can do that by simply passing the name property so i'll just say name to name because this is the value and i am passing it along now this name is going to component b if you see b will start printing wasim because it has received the property name the same goes for c if i pass like this uh, i take this name and put it forward okay so i'll hand it over to c c will start printing this name the same thing i'll do with d i'll take this name from c and i'll pass it along to d and D will do the same. It will take from D uh, and passing aloud to, sorry, it will take from C and it will just simply say, oops, it will just give it ahead to E and E will just take it and print it. See, if I want to print this name, was seen, was seen, let me just close this console. There are no errors. Okay. So console, the name started from A. So this is where it, it exactly originated and i'm just passing it down along the way so as my example said i don't want it in d e c and b so what i can do i can simply i'll just stop printing it i'll stop printing it i will stop printing it okay i have stopped printing it but what if in any component let's say in b I stopped passing it ahead because my B does not want this name, right? It will break all the other components. So this whole concept, like from passing the data from parent to child, again to a grandchild and so on and so forth. This whole concept is called as prop drilling. Okay. I'll just reset it. I'll just say one more time. 
दिस होल कॉन्सेप्ट पासिंग द डेटा फ्रॉम पेरेंट टू चाइल्ड बाय जस्ट ड्रिलिंग द प्रॉप्स फ्रॉम वन कंपोनेंट टू अनादर टू द इनर मोस्ट चाइल्ड कंपोनेंट दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इज कॉल्ड एस प्रॉप ड्रिलिंग विच इज अ वेरी बैड एग्जाम्पल बिकॉज नाउ माई कंपोनेंट बी कंपोनेंट सी एंड कंपोनेंट डी नेवर रिक्वायर दिस नेम बट दे हैव टू टेक इट एंड पास इट अलॉन्ग राइट विच इज अगेन लाइक नॉट अ गुड कॉन्सेप्ट सो to to overcome this difficulty we have the concept called as context api where it will just pass to all the innermost components okay and it will the only component that wants this data can pick it from that uh, store or from that context so now we are again having some bigger words context store store comes in redux but we'll discuss that later now here in this concept it will take it from a concept let's say it has a global storage somewhere it will take it from that storage context api have this following four things four principle four concepts you can say like creating a context providing the context and consuming the context we can consume the context in again two ways by consumers and by selectors we'll see all of them right now in this example so the first thing that what we will do is the first point that was creating a context so how to create a context in react oh it's going to be very difficult i'll say like name context and create context okay and you're done it was this difficult so to create a context simple just go ahead call this hook uh call. so to create a concept it's very simple just go ahead call the function create context which is coming again from react it is not a third party library create context and it will create a context for you you can also pass something called as like default value knowledge keen and we'll see what this default value does now but for now let's say that i will i don't have any default value but we are just creating an empty context so what should i do with this empty context i will pass along to all the child components or even i can do it like here at the top level wherever you want okay so right now the concept says that we want to pass it along to all the child components so now my component a becomes the provider because it's the parent component so i have simple provider let me just it will start from here and it will just close at the very end because i want to pass this data to all the child components so whoever comes under this provider will get the data okay simple now what this provider will have a value what you want to pass along so i'll say i want to pass along the name from all the b components what i'll do i'll remove this props we don't want this props now i don't want it in b i don't want it in oops c if i'm not getting it i'm not passing it again the same if i'm not getting it i'm not passing it to d so all these are like simple empty shells dumb components who are just doing nothing they are just trying to render okay so here i want a name but we'll print that later okay so i removed it from all the components so my component a became the parent now who is having that context and it is going to be the provider of the data now okay and it is going to provide it to all the child components b c d and e whoever wants the data can just simply call the context and get the data simple to get the data as i said before there are two simple ways to get it the first way would be the consumer okay so what is a consumer who consumes the data i'll go to let's say e directly so i don't want b c and d to come in between i just want my e component to get the data so now e will be my consumer so how it will be a consumer whose consumer it will be it will be the consumer of this name context but name context just lies in my component a so what i will do i will export it so that my a component uh, this name context can i can just pull it in any of the files i'll go here i'll simply say go down okay i'll i'll import it dynamically name context see i have context 
it is imported from where component a because we added that we exported it in component a dot consumer so now component e is a consumer simple right but how can i take this value how can i take this simple value so to get that value this consumer will become a anonymous function okay you can say a function or i simply render the component we have seen when do we use curly braces when do we use the round brackets let me just do that okay huh. so i'll say name and this name will be here okay but to do all of this this is a javascript code so we need curly braces simple so what why what are we doing again to make it make you understand curly braces an anonymous function not curly braces round brackets because we need uh, to print a component and what it is taking it is taking a name from the parent and it is simply going to print the name so my consumer will behave like this refresh or you don't even need to refresh see here wasim is printed we are not passing we are not doing any kind of code in b we are not doing anything in c we are not doing anything in d b c and d never required that data so they are not bothered whether they are we are passing the name or not simple consumer just pass on the data and whichever component needs it they can just become a consumer and they can consume the data very easy right context api is absolutely easy but there is a slight drawback of this consumer what is the drawback if i want to modify this value somewhere here in this component i can't do it right because this name only resides in this anonymous function so that became a drawback now and this doesn't have to be a name okay it can be anything it can be anything still it works so i'm just to be uh, i'm just giving a proper naming convention so that it's easy for you to understand it can be anything so what i was saying like name here this only resides in this particular name context dot consumer tag to overcome this drawback we have selectors so selectors to the rescue i do this i'll remove everything i'll simply paste my component as it was see the name is not there what i will do i will simply say constant name equal to use context that also comes from react okay and which context am i calling i am calling name context now here why we are passing the name context because one application can have n number of context so we are specifically saying use the context which is name context and get the name and simply print the name refresh i did something wrong what i did wrong okay it is not curly braces my bad it should be like this correct easy so we just have a variable name which i am just doing uh, passing it along if i want to change this like uh, if i want to modify this i can just simply say let name plus equal to a b c d e something and we can mo even modify that easy right now we have seen all the four concepts creating a context how to provide how to consume and the selector use context so again like reverting back to our original what was the default value used for let's say i just pass along knowledge keen so if i say knowledge keen where is it used refresh nowhere if i'm not passing the value here it's empty but it is not passing the default value so why this default value is there to check that what i will do i will simply say let me just do that let me add revert this to a scene and i will simply do let's say a uh, component not i'll not i'll add one more component L let me do that it would be far easier component f to the rescue okay i'll have a component simple const oops 
component f a new component return we have left h6 still i am f i am component f component f okay and simply export default not debugger default component f easy and i will try render it outside my provider component f so now see this here name context right h1 is there after that name context is the sibling of component f easy i am component f it is trying to render here right what will happen if i go ahead and try to consume my context here it can be a scenario right i'll simply say use uh, name equal to use context get it from the name context right and try to print the value here name ideally a is not providing the value to this component and even i am not passing it as a prop hence oops hence do you think it will get will it throw an error no it will pass it along the default value so that's why context api is way smarter if you want to do something like this that if some component is not a parent or a sibling then it does not have a parent child relationship and if the if context is not providing to that and still we are trying to consume this we can pass along a default value i hope this was easy right so this is one of the uh, concept of context api i hope i made it very 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 easy for you and it's very simple example i will make slightly complicated the i'll make this a little bit more complicated because we are just getting the value in component a so i'll just remove this component f because we don't want to increase any complexity or confusion i'll simply delete it we don't need it okay hide so we are just getting the value we are never setting it so what if my component e wants to change the name to something else on a click of a button let's say that i have a button right and on click uh handle click something like this change name to uh, knowledge king or let's not say knowledge king wasi makram my complete name okay this handle click i'll simply add const handle click and i'll handle it somehow console.log handle click here let's see if it is working we have a button what happened it no there's no error i click this handle click here so that means my button is working very nice so let's go back to our previous example now what i want i want to pass the getter and the setter both the values but here value is just taking one simple value right it's taking one value i can't say name comma set name it will start throwing an error because it only needs one value see jss jsx expressions may not use comma operator do you mean to write an array no we don't want to write an array we can simply pass it as an object easy right we are simply passing name as an object and set name both the parameters as an object if you are passing it as an object we have to consume like one so i'll say name is coming from an object as well as set name is coming from the same context api so both are coming refresh no error so both see it is still printing the name and name was same here so both are coming from an object and i destructured the object name and set name so here it is printing as it is if i want to change it i have set name which is coming from component a i am just passing it along it's again a setter which is created in component a i am passing it along to to the hierarchy of this component to the innermost component and i'm simply saying change it to 
Wasim Akram. So it will change my name from Wasim to Wasim Akram. So if I click this, voila, it's working, right? It's that easy. This is how you can create n number of variables. You can pass to this provider and you can pass getters, setters, and you can make your component as dynamic as you want, right? So I'll, I'll just enhance, I'll just explain it a bit more. If my, let's say my component D also wants this name to be printed, how I can do this? I'll say, I just want name, okay? From use context, which is coming from again, name context. You can have n number of contexts. I'm just explaining it. I'm trying to say it again. I'm just printing name. See? Refresh. Wasim, Wasim, Wasim was there. My D is just consuming. My E is consuming as well as changing the value. If I click it, it will change everywhere. Easy, right? This is how you can create big applications. So most of the major applications, somewhere or the other way, use context API in, as a concept in their applications okay and where are we going to use this context if you see we also have before you use context we react itself i i told you right react has one of the best documentation that you can ever see it also gives you where you can use this context api concepts so in theming in current accounts if for example a logged in user if you want to pass the logged in user information throughout your application we need that right so you can just create one simple context and you can just pass it along Wherever you want to print the user details, just get it the values from the context and simply use them. Routing, okay, most routing solutions use context internally to hold the route. So routing, we are still, we haven't seen it. It's an easy concept. We'll see it in, in, some, in a few days. Managing state, as your app grows, you might end up with a lot of state closer to the top of your app. Many distant components below may want to change it. It's a common use to you should reduce it together with context to manage complex state and pass it down to a distant component without much help. It is a pro, okay? It is a benefit as well as it is a disadvantage. It's a con. I'll tell you why. So as your application grows, let's say that my com component A has many variables, right? Oops. I keep on doing this. Let's say I have a counter. I have set counter then i am just simply passing i know if some of my component wants to again use this counter and set counter i can do this simply right but as your variables grow this becomes very difficult to manage this becomes keep on the oh my god it's heavily raining here so i'm just enjoying the weather while teaching let it stop Okay, so as this application will start to grow, it will keep on, I will keep on adding n number of variables to this and the complexity will keep on growing. So we have to be very, very, very sure where we want to use this context and what are the values you want to pass on to the context just to avoid those specific complexities. I hope I have tried to explain this now i'll come back to my original statement where should we exactly use context and where we should use use state where we should use redux redux is also the same it works on the same principles it has a global storage we pass on the data and the your any component might use it i'll start with the first point use state we usually prefer we usually write where we have we only want to use it in the same component right so use state is local component it's it's used in local con component that's a local variable in short context api that's my approach of uh, uh, attending a context api is if you have a feature level okay if you have let's say my there is one application it has 10 different features so create a context for each feature it would be a bit easier for you to handle the feature level state management so it will may again be very easy redux if you have a big major application it's a very big application then ideally you should go with uh, redux because that will handle uh, context or state management more easily 
okay you got this video you got the gist of what exactly i was trying to explain what is context api and if you like this video i request you to please 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 subscribe click on that red icon there red and the bell icon also so that you get the notification whenever i start posting new videos or shorts or something like that i hope this was easy and you like this video uh, please click on the thumbs up icon and put on your comments i love to read your comments thank you so much guys